right. <clears throat> take two. <laughs> take two and I got my hand in the way. <clears throat> I tried to do this on uh, my Mac. Uh, I got two of them. Uh, this one right here, this older one. <clears throat> I think that's 2011. I didn't actually start using it until uh, 2014. I was too intimidated by a Mac. <laughs> it was there brand new for three years. And I'm like, okay, I think I need to break it out because the other computers were slowing down. Uh, what was that uh, the mom was doing? Anyways, it doesn't... Uh, it's got a it's kind of a software that re records um, the video it takes pictures on, the, on there but it, it started it started breaking up the, the filming or recording me and it started coming off so yeah, shit, I gotta do this shit again all right <clears throat> well, I was gonna talk about um, Fabian Fabian's role uh, with uh, with us as far as uh, 1108 productions. The reason I'm talking about it is because uh, yesterday we were having a conversation in the in the car as we were going to uh, to uh, the Mexican consulate uh, for a meeting out there. So I was recording the stuff, you know. I haven't released that, but uh, <clears throat> as we were talking, uh, I don't know, something came up about the producer, and he says he's not a producer, and he's been telling me that. Uh, that he can't, we can't put his name as a producer because he's, uh, uh, I, I mean, it has to do with his contract as a writer. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always uh, start talking and then I start losing my voice. Maybe because I don't like to talk. I rather really just, well, I don't, I don't like to listen either. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I've been saying, the one, I want to talk a little bit about his role. At least, uh, hopefully, his fans will, or his followers, I won't say he's got fans. Uh, he's got followers probably just to critique his his every word but um, he is uh, he is pretty much a producer I mean even though he says he's not on camera and he doesn't get credited on on the films <clears throat> he does he does he, he he's the second half of 1108 literally um, I wouldn't be where I'm at without his talent and that's that's the bottom line um, for me, I, I you know, for me, and I'm a uh, God-fearing man, and, and I, I do believe in, in miracles. Things happen for a reason, you know. Uh, in my mind, I usually find out later on in time why things happen the way they do. It's because I have an open mind and open heart. And, but you know, the the thing is, um, how we met is is kind of it's kind of. Um, I won't say it's a miracle, but it's uh, it's ironic the way we met. Uh, but <clears throat> moving forward from that time uh, when we we're supposed to work with somebody else, and then deciding, you know, let's let's try to work together. Uh, I really didn't know who he was, <clears throat> but I did need a writer, and he needed somebody to, who, can, who can film. So it's like, okay, let's let's try this. Uh, and it's been it's been good, uh, you know. the The productions have been challenging, <clears throat> but I think uh, uh, the the friendship uh, with him, in my mind, you know, uh, I'm, I'm <clears throat> from me coming from me, <clears throat> uh, it's gotten good. It's gotten better, <clears throat> stronger friendship. Chingamari! <clears throat> Every time I start talking. I'm out of juice. Yeah. <clears throat> Mateo, go get me some drinks. He just lays there and just wants to eat and sleep. Anyways, it's gotten it's gotten really good. I mean, uh, I know how he is and he knows I am and I'm I'm demanding and I know he he, he likes to be lazy. <laughs> he doesn't like doing any physical work. Yeah, he'll make an excuse to go out and hey, you want some water? No. I'll get you some water. That's the way he is. Next thing is, what's your host? What's your work, cabron? He's out there having smoke somewhere. That's escondido. And the thing is, he, he'd be like a kid out there behind the bushes. That's the way he is. And then he'll sneak off from me. And I keep telling him when we're together, quit doing that. I need your help at the time. No, no, I'll be right there. I'm right there with you the whole way. Next thing is, what's your kid? He's out there having smoke. But anyways... Uh, going back to the, the producer part, uh, 
he is pretty much i mean from the 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 stories of films that we've done which has been a couple but um there there are ideas from both of us uh, he'll write the stuff he'll make the calls he'll look for the monies uh, he'll look for the locations i don't do any of that shit i really don't um Simply because he he's got more contacts, <clears throat> um, he knows more people, or he knows people who know people. Man, the only people I know are from back home. I don't know. I say it's back home people I, I know out there, but you know they know people who know people who work in the fields. Well, that's pretty much the way. <laughs> that's where the story ends. <laughs> but here, uh, I don't know really anybody, and I really don't go out looking for friendships or any. You know what? If I run into people who eventually become friends, it's because I was meant to be. Um, but as far as the pre-productions on any other stuff, like that, he does all the work. He does all the footwork. Uh, I don't. You know, it's just beyond my what I I care to do. What that that I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like being part of every nick of the production, every part of that, every little bit. But making calls. Looking for monies. Can't just leave me out. You know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll spend my own money, provided I can sneak it out of the house. You know, my wife always, okay, she checks my pockets. What do you got in your pocket? Nothing. <laughs> but, anyways, he does all that. Now, once we start filming, and that's because I got to tell him, hey, you know, this film has to be short. Next thing I know is this damn novel. You know, I can't do that shit. Yeah, but you can. It's, <clears throat> oh, I can't. He, he he pushes me to to do better or to. He has a lot of confidence in me. I won't say faith. He's got a lot of confidence in me. And I said, No, I can't do that, man. I, I know my abilities. It's only one of me. And and you're asking for a crew to do this work. I can't do it all. I'm burned down. <clears throat> but when he does come up, he's come up with money. And when, but he, when he does that, you know, it's like, is that all we're getting? Yeah, but you don't even need that much, right? Well, so if we don't have that much, I guess we'll have to work with what we got. <laughs> this thing is, it's funny because I've asked him, what, what do you, uh, what do you continue to work with, with me? I mean, like, I'm a pain in the ass. I can be. I'm demanding. And I want answers. I want answers now. Shit, you know, if, if I'm doing the bulk of the work and I'm putting the bulk of the time in, and not, not compared to Fabian, I'm talking about the talent. A lot of talent wants to interject on their ideas. Like, hey, whose, whose production is this? If you want to do your production, you know what? Feel free to start your own thing, and then you can be way over your head on the shit. You know, but no, 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 no. They just want to throw your ideas, your ideas at you. And, and you, you know, no. I don't work that way. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's a sign. Isn't it? What's a sign? Sign of being old like him. I feel bad for him. He can't see around the house anymore. He's got to sniff around and bump into walls and say, okay, where does this wall? And I'm looking at him and say, I just can't see myself putting it down. Talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. He's going to be put down. You know? I, I got diverted. Anyways, uh, going back to the, the, the monies, um, he's told me, look, hey, you can work with nothing. i seen it. They give you a couple hundred dollars, you can make a major motion picture. Of so if I had to, I would. But I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I can work with literally, you know what, if the talent, if the talent wants to be on film because they love it, okay, that's free work for us. What costs money is, you know, I, I gotta feed them, we, you know what I mean, we gotta, we gotta feed the talent, if they're gonna be there all day, it's only right that we, we gotta feed them, we gotta bring pizza, we gotta take, take them out or something, whatever, for me, the, the cheaper, the better, you know what, Subway sandwich, but then I was like, how about pizza, Subway sandwich. What about uh, Chinese Subway sandwich? That's <laughs> it's either that or we get some bottled water. You know, that's that's not. I don't need to eat. I really don't. You know, I get cranky when I don't sleep and I'm tired. They say, oh, "If this all, man, I'm going home. I'm tired. I, I'm, you know, I need to pack up my shit. It's gonna take me two hours to pack up my shit, and everybody's going home. I don't need to eat, but I have to be uh, conscious that the, the talent, you know, they, they require nutrition." Not me. I just require some sleep once I get to the point where you know I need to get some sleep. Uh, Fabiana, as long as he's got a pack of cigarettes, 
you know, I know he gets hungry, but as long as he's got his smokes, that's all he gives a shit about. People are like, so I'm like, I'm gonna smoke, man, I gotta smoke. You need a bottle of water? I was like, no, no, you ain't going anywhere. I'm not thirsty, I'm not hungry. So you stay right here, you suffer with me just the way I'm suffering. <laughs> you stay here and suffer. So uh, sometimes I've told him that, no, if I'm gonna suffer, you're gonna suffer right here. You're not having smokes until we get the shit done. <laughs> so I told him that. <laughs> because I'm the one stressing out. But, you know, and he's told me, man, you, you can literally work with no money. And he goes, well, yes, yeah, because if there's no money, then you have to do what you got to do to to overcome the obstacle, you know. And the thing is, you know, there's talent out there that they want to break. They, they got full-time jobs. They audition for other, other uh, filmmakers around the area, you know. Their, their thing is they want to be on film. They want to get the experience. They're hungry. You know, I'm hungry. Uh, literally, not hungry, hungry, but I'm I'm hungry to to get the film done. <laughs> but you know, that's that's uh, free work from the talent. You know, eventually you would want to say, you know what, we're all gonna get a piece of the pie. That would be the idea. You know, you know, my piece. I gotta tell you, it's gonna be bigger because I've I've spent way too much money, and I'm trying to hide the shit from my wife. It's like, oh shit, I hope you don't see this. I hope she don't see that the money's gone. Oh, shit, I hope we make the, uh, the mortgage. Oh, shit, I hope we got food money. Uh, by, by the time I sneak out with the money and then try to uh, replace it somehow with overtime or something else, it might be too late. She might say, where's the money? And I might ask stupid, like, what money? And she'll say, you know what money? And I'll say, no, no, what money are you talking about? And she'll say, you know what freaking money I'm talking about? The house money, the mortgage money. And I'm saying, why would I know where the house money or the mortgage money is? I don't touch that shit. Were you filming? Uh, yeah, I, I was filming. But I didn't touch the money. Well, where's the money? Uh, I, I don't know. Why don't you ask the dog? Maybe he took the money. And she says, you wrote the dog. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, then I took the money. <laughs> I, I, I'll get it back. I'll get. Don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna hit a gold nugget somewhere. I, I keep digging the hole. I wanna hit a, a gold nugget. We'll pay it all off. Oh, we've been waiting for a couple of years for that. Looking for the gold nugget. I still like. I, I think I'm digging in mud out of here because I don't see shit. And Fabian's like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit it big. We're gonna hit it big. And I'm like, well yeah, but it's my money that I keep pouring into this shit and it's like I, I gotta explain to the missus now I'm sleeping in the other room we'll figure